Plastic Model Builders, hello, this is Ari Stone with Plastic Model Builder, and we are building the Ravel 148th scale P61 Black Widow. You can see we're starting off putting this chair together. You've got the main chair, and you've got this thing that goes on top of it. It's like a scope of some kind. And then you've got its base, and the space will attach down to the uh, control deck. So this is it. You're going to put that little base on right there. It just kind of pops into place. Very simple. Let's get to model building. We're going to make this thing look pretty. It's a model making madness. So we've got our flight deck. Everything's going to go chromate green. I am spraying mine with some Tamiya primer. I use the spray can that is decanted that you can buy. Just decant it, put it in there, thin it down a little bit. It'll spray a lot better. Once you thin that down, even because it's designed to come out of the spray can. So I thinned it down. We've got our backings right here, our seats spraying green this is the chromate green that i have as well turns out very well i like how it goes you see i primered everything now we're putting every the green on everything that you can see so in this video we're going to show you the rest of this we're going to assemble parts that go for the control deck and we're going to paint them in our next videos when we post those we're going to show you some of the inconsistencies and what you need to do to make this plane fit together so next week you can look forward to that so this right here that is like one of the engine pylons, the nacelles. You've got this part goes for the radar, which goes inside the plane. This plane has a lot of options that you can kind of do with it. Uh, like as far as seeing inside and flaps and things like that and guns. It's, although it's an older kit, it was done very well. It was a monogram kit. I don't remember if I said that earlier or not. But it was a monogram kit from the 70s. So it is old and it does require work. But it's well worth it. It's a nice plane. It turns out good. You got your landing gear here. This is a rear gear. You got a strut that you got to put on. So that's what that looks like. Just kind of hold it in place very carefully. Some of these aren't the easiest to glue, you know, the way this is designed, but it's okay. So now this is two engines. You see you've got the three holes there and the three little pins that this fits on. This engine is going to be for the open engine section because it has one that's open that you can do and one that is closed. Um, if you want, you can take extra time and file down all the little grooves in there. I did not do it. Maybe I should have, but it was a lot of them. I'm going to paint this aluminum because, you know, every engine is made out of aluminum or at least some sort of steel back then. So make that look good. Very simple to do. Not hard. You got your front and your back of this because you can see all the way in with the way this engine or I'm sorry, the plane is designed for this particular model. And this is your uh, front landing gear and, of course, your radar placement holder, I don't know what you call it, but it holds the radar dish that sits up front in this aircraft nose that is visible because you can leave the nose cone off. And this is for the front landing gear right here, painting the rear gear silver, of course, because it needs it. You see, that's what it looks like. Very simple, not a lot of detail, as you can see. We got our rear wheels right here. They're very big, just goes together very easily. You got your hole in your pin fits it together. Painting our gray. I probably should use a little bit darker bluish kind of gray, but this is what I use. It's an acrylic color, so it's thinned down a bit. That way it just goes on nicely. I tried to paint these properly. I'm never good with engines, but you know, I think this one turned out fairly decently. You see this going around. These are all the parts I think I was supposed to paint gray. I've seen examples and you got your tubes right here. They all go black, each one of those. And we'll have some things that are in the middle of those shafts. I painted this wire, the, the conduit, just like that. It's probably originally a different color, but when it ages and heats up, it kind of changes. So I tried to replicate that with that color and just lightly going over these. I'm not too worried about how good this looks because we're also going to weather it and it will kind of just blend in. And that's what we're going to do now. After we paint this little black box right here, got a couple more of those things to paint. And that's what that looks like. So here, we will show you that weathering later. We got this canister since we've got some silver paint out that needs to be painted as well. I wasn't sure what the actual colors were, so I did my best. You got a little scope right there that they looked through. These are the armchair rests for your arms on the chair. Make sure you get around the sides of the little scope and its thing. You see that chromate green, and this will be a scope as well, or some sort of finder. I know it's not a heads-up display. These are the side panels in the cockpit. 
got little things that need to go together. Work carefully, make it look good. True model making madness. We're also going to decal this later on in the video, so stay tuned for that. Uh, it said to paint the radar black, so I'm painting the radar black. Just following the directions on this, I didn't bother doing too much research. That's where the radar sticks through, so that's why I'm also painting that black. Got what I think is a fire extinguisher here. Paint that red in case they need it. And then, of course, you know, you're going to have that that goes black as well. It's the spout, the sprayer, whatever you want to call it. I know it's got a proper name, but that's it right there. And these are, of course, the handles for the control stick. I do the front and the back, even though the back really isn't going to get seen. I figure you may as well do it. Take the extra mile. Got our instrument panel right here. Going over it, just a little bit of dry brushing with some silver and some white because most of the control instrument panels were white on the original planes or at least that i've seen that looks very nice put in this little thing right here and i paint the tip of it silver because in pictures it's actually a piece of glass or something i'm not sure what it is but i wasn't modifying it uh, we're doing some light weathering here making this look a little bit on the rusty side i'm sorry not rusty worn i should say worn so we have that just put some silver just around wherever you feel it's necessary and that's what i did and it makes it look good like i said this plane it's a decent plane it was used in world war ii going to need a little bit of work to uh make it look good a lot of seams that need taken care of but they're not too bad there's just a lot of them so it's tripled for everything putting some dirty weathering on here with a homemade concoction now, you, you can buy stuff because they also make that stuff. I went a little thick in some places. That's okay. It's a model. I to make these look like. So here, we're weathering the insides of the engine. We're going to make that look good. You got your landing gear right here. And this is where the chair goes down. So we're going to start some assembly on this. Uh, it's supposed to slide back and forth on that, but you have to glue it down. That's just kind of like an example. You got the chair in the front and the chair in the back. Make sure you leave yourself some room. So we're going to put this in and we're going to glue it down, but we're going to put it inside of the cockpit and the fuselage to make sure it glues on properly. You see that there, that was a different piece. The two balk heads, front and the back basically. And there's our chair. This is a one other one, putting that in. Now this is how we assemble the other chair. It's got two little halves to it. This is for the pilot to sit down in. Then you got the other half. Just glue it down and I'll show you the underside here coming up. That way you can see what it looks like and how it goes together. And there it is, just sits nicely like that. And it'll sit down in the plane. You got these two little holes right there and just pops in, glue it from underneath, from the side, from the top, however you need to get it done. We've got that right there. We're going to put this in, the control stick. Lovely, the yoke, whatever you want to call it. Put in the instrument panel. That fit in a little wacky. You need to do a little bit of fitting for it. And then that's what it's going to look like once you have that all in there. Just an example to show you. Painting some gunmetal. Maybe I could have waited to do these later. Um, and then we're going to do some gray on the outsides of those. You also have your big barrel guns. I hollowed those out the best I could. Just to make it look a little more realistic, we'll show you that in a different video when we go to put those on. Uh, directions call for gunmetal on the tire, so I did that, and I'm just painting gray around this. Like I said, a lot of these, I'm not going by pictures. I'm just going by what the directions tell me to do, and I'm happy with that. Um, if you're a novice model or a beginner, that's probably what you're going to do, and you still can have a nice-looking model when it's said and done. So put these in. It gets a little crazy because they're supposed to meet up with the guns, so, I mean, there's like a really, it's not an easy way to do this, I guess. Um, maybe put these in, glue one at a time, maybe glue the guns down. You know, I did it how I did it. So, that's the best I can say. Uh, once I let some of the stuff dry on that, I realized I had to paint these olive colors. So, I'm painting those olive. That's what they look like. Here are the decals. Remember, we always do live premieres, so you can watch with us. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like, too. That's very important. That way, I get you watching my videos. It's the best thing ever. And remember to get the notifications, enable them, so you can watch with me. 
putting all these decals there's one more that goes right over here and don't worry next week we're going to show you the complete assembly of that control deck and putting it in and here's the radar so make that look good thanks for watching and until next time as always see ya